Hi friends, welcome to today's session. I hope all of you are doing good. And thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our quiz question was, name the 2018 year mission of NASA to make observations on the sun. As all of you have commented, it is uh, Parker Solar Probe only. Let's start today's session. First question, which among the following statements is are true regarding 125th Constitution Amendment Bill 2019? Statement 1, it seeks to increase the financial and executive powers of 10 autonomous councils in the 6th scheduled areas of the Northeastern region. And Statement 2, the Finance Commission will be mandated to recommend devolution of financial resources to them. And Statement 3, the amendments provide for elected village municipal councils ensuring democracy at the grassroots level. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Option A 1 and 2 only. Option B 2 and 3 only. Option C 1 and 3 only. Option D 1 2 and 3. Correct answer here is Option D 1 2 and 3. All the above statements are correct. So the 125th Constitution Amendment Bill amends provisions related to the Finance Commission and the 6th Schedule of the Constitution. As we all know, the 6th Schedule relates to the administration of tribal areas in the states of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram. They are the ATM states and ATM is the short form to remember 6th Schedule states. It stands for A for Assam, uh, T for Tripura, M for Mizoram and Meghalaya. So, the 6th Schedule states that the tribal areas in certain regions of these 4 states will be autonomous districts and each autonomous district consisting of a district council. Further, the governor may divide an autonomous district into autonomous regions and each region consisting of a regional council. The administration of autonomous districts and region will be carried out by district and regional councils respectively. That is the present form. So, the bill amends this to provide for an additional village and municipal councils that is in addition to the district and regional councils. So the village councils will be established for villages or a group of villages in rural areas whereas the municipal councils will be established in urban areas for of each district. So the governor may make rules for devolution of powers and responsibilities to this village and municipal councils. The bill states that all elections to the district council, regional council, village councils and municipal councils will be conducted by the state election commission appointed by the governor. And another important amendment in this bill is regarding finance commission. Finance commission usually makes recommendations to the president on the distribution of taxes between union and states and the provision of grants in aid to states. The bill states that in addition to this function, the Finance Commission will make recommendations on measures to augment the consolidated fund of a state to provide resources to district councils, village councils and municipal councils in tribal areas of these six scheduled states. In that way, it seeks to increase the financial and executive powers of 10 autonomous councils in the six scheduled areas of the northeastern region. It is more decentralization of powers. Moving to the second question, with regard to biosimilar medicine, consider the following statements. Statement 1. It is a highly similar of an original product that is manufactured by a different company. And statement 2. It can be manufactured only when the original product's patent expires. And statement 3. Biosimilars are cheaper than generic drugs. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A. 1 and 2 only. Option B. 2 and 3 only. Option C. 1 and 3 only. Option D 1, 2 and 3 and uh, correct answer here is option A 1 and 2 only biosimilars are not cheaper than generic drugs. Let's understand the concept of biosimilar medicines. First of all we will see what is biologic drugs. Most of the medicines that we take on regular basis for example paracetamol, aspirin or anything they are made from chemicals and these medicines are made in a lab through a series of chemical reactions but the biologic drug as the name indicates are medicines not made from chemicals but from living organisms like yeast bacteria etc. For example, insulin is a very non-medication for diabetes patients is a biologic medicine. 
so that is biologic drugs and this drugs needs enormous effort to develop and the process of making a biologic drug is highly expensive here as a solution to this biosimilis come it is actually a generic version of biologic drug it does not mean that it is inferior to a biologic drug they still meet rigorous safety purity and potency but may have minor differences in clinically inactive components so this biosimilars are less expensive compared to biologic drugs now there is another one called generic drugs generics are the copies of synthetic drugs which means the drugs made from chemicals while biosimilars are modeled after drugs that use living organisms as important ingredients generic drugs are identical to the original in the chemical composition while the biosimilar drugs are highly similar but close enough in duplication to accomplish the same therapeutic and clinical result the biosimilars are more costly than generic drugs why because as i said earlier biosimilars are made from living organisms hence it need multiple testing process hence biosimilars are expensive when compared to generic drugs but biosimilars are cheaper than biologic drugs so another similarity between the biosimilars and generic drugs are they are both available when the drug companies exclusive patents on the expensive new drugs expire so after patent only they can develop both biosimilars and generic drugs and india is one of the leading manufacturers of biosimilars as we all know we are good at reengineering rather than innovation so any rules related to this topic is highly important to us last question of the day kambala a traditional slush track buffalo race held in which among the following state option a karnataka option b kerala option c andhra pradesh option d telangana correct answer here is option a karnataka so it is a traditional slush track buffalo race held annually in the coastal districts of karnataka here you can see the picture it is a version of jellikattu which comes often in news jellikattu is a track buffalo race of tamil nadu and our today's quiz question is based on this topic only that is one fox jellikattu which is famous in tamil nadu and what is the name of fox jellikattu held in tamil nadu that event or that spot got a name and what is that post your answers as comment guys mm, that's all for today we will meet tomorrow thank you for watching